You left then to go to Barnsley. Did you enjoy your time there? <clears throat> yeah, Barnsley was... I always say to people... Don't sound too enthusiastic. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I always say to people, I changed from a boy into a man, literally, when I moved to Barnsley. Uh, one of the reasons for that was uh, when, when I joined, they stuck me in a hotel for six months, and the hotel was... And when I say literally, I mean literally 50 yards away from the local night spot, the local nightclub of Barnsley. So if anybody wanted to find me in Barnsley and, and it wasn't a, on a football pitch, it'd either be in the nightclub or in the hotel across the road. <laughs> but it was a real eye-opener for me as a 19-year-old going there. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the football sometimes just got in the way. It's, it's true. <laughs> to what is the Barnsley nightclub like? <clears throat> well, when I was there, it was amazing. You know, the amount of people who'd never heard of uh, Barnsley as an night eye and then came just they couldn't believe how good it was it was, it was a bit like a mini Newcastle at the time right. I don't know what it's like now I, I obviously don't go nightclubbing anymore <laughs> you know I'm past that stage in my life <laughs> uh, last week <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah you know what we had, we had some had some fa fantastic times at Barnsley it's got to be said and, and most of them were more off the pitch than on it so